Welcome to today's video. Happy Friday. I am excited that it is the weekend and Mike will be home at three o'clock today from his new job. I have officially survived a week of his new schedule. I wasn't worried about it, but it is nice when, you know, he only has to go into work for a few hours and gets his stuff done and is able to be home by one o'clock in the afternoon. We've been very spoiled with his schedule the last couple years that we've been here. So it's definitely been an adjustment period, me having to make dinner every night for us and have it ready. I've just been uh, spoiled with his schedule and he always took over dinner and would make us food and that was one thing I didn't have to worry about. But yeah, I'm having to adjust to uh, cooking every night again, which <laughs> kind of sucks. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, once I nail that down, I feel like I can officially put housewife and stay-at-home mom on my resume. But anyway, uh, me and this little girl are just hanging out. Max, what you got there? You got a big old clump of dog fur in your hands? Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're just hanging out. She just woke up from a decent nap. She had kind of woken up at the 30 minute mark and I went upstairs and rocked her and she fell asleep on me for an extra half hour. So we just got up. Yeah, I figured I'd film. I don't really know what we're gonna do today. Uh, two out of three of her baby gates came in. So we're definitely gonna be baby proofing this weekend. Um, cleaning up the house a little bit. Anyway, um, yeah, probably gonna do some grocery shopping, get some healthy food. And yeah, that's pretty much it for updates. Are you ready to eat? Okay, so we recently started giving her these Happy Baby Puffs and she loves them and she does so well. I was a little nervous to do the puffs because they're not like the normal big size pieces but she does really well she just picks one up and she's crunching it yeah you chewing good job baby because i know like the typical baby led weaning when they're six to nine ish months you're supposed to do like the really big pieces but she's doing good with the puffs and then um this is also from that brand and they're teething crackers and she loves these as well so Highly recommend. I'm happy we can get them from the commissary because they're good. So yeah, I'm gonna give her some puffs. I'm gonna get water out of the fridge for her right here. Right there, and then I did make some oatmeal with peanut butter and chia seeds. Good job, baby. While she's eating her oatmeal, I figured I would update you guys on a couple things. So, the first one being she cut a tooth. So, she has tea first. Well, she's got a twofer because she's only got one right now. Um, I think, so it's the bottom, her left, it's, it's this one. I think this one is gonna come in right after it because her gums are super swollen and I feel like I can see like the ridge outline underneath the gums and like it's just yeah it looks like it's right there so she is growing teeth and they are coming through and she is handling it so well we only had to do Motrin I think like two or three nights in a row just because she was waking up whining every hour and she just needed snuggles and then once we'd go up and comfort her she'd go right back to sleep till morning but the Motrin helped keep her asleep throughout the night so she wasn't waking up from the pain um, but yeah, we're officially off the Motrin. It's been, I think, four nights now without it, and she's doing really well. And then the other Max update is she 
is officially a member of our Native American tribe. Yeah, you Chippewa. So yeah, we went ahead, my dad told us to enroll her. It was a super easy process. I just filled out an application with my tribal card information and she is officially a member of the tribe as well. So as long as you have one fully bona fide parent, um, you become like a full member of the tribe. So if, you know, one day, if and when she has her own kids and her own children, she can also enroll them in the tribe. And um, yeah, they'll be able to reap the benefits as well. Hey guys, good morning. It is Saturday and we've kind of had a slow morning. Um, I just got Max to sleep for her first nap of the day. And it's about 9, almost 9.30. Um, I just finished my coffee and yeah, we had a pretty lazy morning. Mike got up with her, changed her, brought her down to bed with me and I nursed her and then we just hung out in bed with both dogs <laughs> and her uh, for like an hour. Um, we just kind of let her roll around and climb all over us like a jungle gym and we just snuggled her and yeah, we had a pretty lazy morning then we slowly got up made some coffee um, ate some breakfast and she is now down for her first nap and Mike decided to take Loki for a walk in the woods so yeah our agenda is uh, pretty relaxed for the day Max turns eight months today so um, we're gonna do her milestone blanket and get some pictures and then I think we're gonna go walking this afternoon probably try to get the house picked up a little bit and Maybe we'll go to the commissary and get some groceries. I did want to show you that we got the baby gate installed. This is the first gate. We got two installed and we're just waiting on the third one to go here. But we got the other one put up right here. So yeah, these are nice. They're nice and tall um, and it's got the pressure thing and it just, you, it can swing either way. Swings either way and you can just pull it shut like that. And then this bottom piece right here, you just put that down and vice versa. You can lock it so it will only swing one specific way. So yeah, they were a little expensive, but honestly, um, we're gonna get a lot of use out of these for years to come and they're perfect for the dogs because we were using this little pet gate and this is so short compared to the big ones and loki used to jump this as a puppy and like once max is standing she's totally gonna be able to topple over that at that age where it's gonna be harder and harder to get her pictures. <laughs> Maxine, we gotta take a picture. Loki. See, and this is when the gate comes in handy. Dum dum, just relax. You're fine. You're crazy. Hey, picture time. <laughs> She's gonna steal the tag. <laughs> Oh, baby girl. Hey, you ready? After Max's little photo shoot, we ended up doing something completely different. We went to Coughlin, which is, it's like German Walmart, basically. And we decided to try out um, shopping there for our weekly groceries. So here is our little grocery haul for the week. We got some red bell peppers, plenty of bananas, a cucumber, blueberries, watermelon, some vanilla yogurt. Uh, this is Germany's like whole milk because um, it's 3.5% fat. This is some uh, coffee to try because I'm almost out of my Starbucks. This is marinated um, pork 
we have some marinated, oh, I guess that's pork as well, um, some ground beef. So fun fact, in Germany, this is like the rating scale. So four is obviously the best. They only had ones, which is why we got it, but I like to look for a two or three usually, so it's not like the worst one. And then we got some chicken breast again. Um, this is a two, so not bad for quality. And we got some feta, hummus, red onion. And then over here, these are some snacks that we got for Maxine. So Hip is a very popular German brand and a lot of people who formula feed back in the States actually get it sent over from Germany because it's like the highest quality formula you can get. Um, but anyway, they have all types of baby food and snacks. So we got her these apple um, raspberry rice cakes. And then these are kind of like, I don't even know what these are. This is really helpful. This is about eight months. <laughs> so now that she's officially eight months, we decided to go with these ones. And then, yeah, this is just a plain apple rice cake. And then, yeah, we got a couple rolls of paper towels. These were $2 each. So, and they're pretty cute. They got little honeybees on there. Hello, sweetie. Yeah, not a bad grocery haul. This all came out to about... 58 euro and 60 ish cents. So um, I think that equates to about 60 US dollars, 65 at the most. So not bad. We didn't get a ton for meals, but we just basically got our usual produce and then meats, coffee, milk. So yeah, Max is upstairs working on her second nap of the day and I just laid her down. So I think I'm gonna start meal prepping and getting dinner ready. But that's our Saturday, that's our weekend. I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye guys.